That's who we're looking for. He in your house right Is now? Is he in your house right now? No, there's nobody in my house. Warning for attempted homicide through officers. Okay, so that's what we're here. This is my house. What are you doing here? Well, we don't have to tell you that. The SWAT got a tip about a suspect, and he was in this man's house. By the way, SWAT stands for Special Weapons and Tactics. The SWAT wants to know if he has any connection with the suspect. Do you have a girlfriend? Who is your wife? Is there any female in this house? Where is your daughter? The cop keeps asking him, do you know this guy? Do you have any connections with this guy? This innocent man gave full permission to search his house. He permitted to search the house, but when he asked about the search warrant, do you have the warrant to search my house? The cop replied, we do not have any search warrant, but you already gave us the consent. So there is no need to have a search warrant. This innocent man is scared and shaking. As the search goes on, the cops keep asking him more and more questions. Watch the video and share your thoughts below. Please support the Dragon Clap TV YouTube channel. I have added the channel link in the description. That's who we're looking for. He in your house right Is now? Is he in your house right now? No, there's nobody in my house. Wanted for attempted homicide through officers. Okay, so that's what we're here. Can Go you, ahead. Yeah, whatever you're going to say. Here's the deal. We got a tip that that guy is here at your house. That's why we're here. This guy's wanted for attempted homicide through officers. Okay, a tip came in and this guy is staying at your house. You understand? Over the, over the weekend. Who are you guys with? U.S. Marshals, Marshal. EPD SWAT, What's PSP, EPD, EPD Police, Police okay, okay, keep going, and PSP. What's PSP? Pennsylvania State Police. Okay, I'm shaking right now. Right now, if this is true, what you're telling me, yes, I give you full permission, full run of my house. You know this guy, sir. I already answered that I, question. I that. Asked and answered. But here's the thing, though. There's a reason why this call, this tip was called into the Marshals. Okay, there's a connection between you and this guy. Now, it might not be directly. Okay, do you have a girlfriend? Just hear him out. Just hear him My out. wife is an ER doctor. Who's your, who's your wife? Do you have any connection with a, another female in this house? Is there another girl that wanted to stay here? A girl? No. Nobody else? No. Okay, who's hope to you? My daughter. Okay, where does she stay at? She lives in Washington, D.C. She's a, she's a, this is my daughter? We don't know, we don't okay? Know. Again, this is a tip that's called into from, from the, to the U.S. Marshals and PSP hotline, okay? Saying that this guy is staying here at your house right now. This week. Go inside, guys. Go inside. Well, we will in a second. We don't have to go to more than just two guys, but this, and this is why, okay? That's why we're here is the show force we are. That's all you need. What's yours? One, two, five, four, seven. Who are you with? State? Yes. Who are you with? City? City. Who are you with, sir? City Grave Police Department. What's your badge number? 350. How you doing? It's an anonymous tip that's able to be emailed in or called in, okay? So that's why we're here. And because he's wanted for attempted homicide of three officers on two different occasions, okay? That's why we came in the force that we did. I totally respect the fact is that you're trying to find us. Yeah. Totally respect that. Again, no, no one meant to disrespect you in any way, but when we're trying to get into, you know, knock on your door and we're not getting an immediate response and then, you, you know, you're, I get your shock. When I was all confused, I just got woken up. I'm, I'm gonna reach in my pocket, I'm gonna grab my phone. Yes. No, let me finish. Yeah, we, we, don't no, want, listen, we don't want to reach it for stuff at that point. You understand that though? Okay, that, that's why we're telling you don't do that stuff, okay? We don't okay. need any more people down here. We don't need to reach it for stuff. And you know, We're on high alert for Mr. Jones, not you. Okay, at can that, I, that, can that, I explain at something? At that point though, all we want you to do is just cooperate. And you did, for the most part. But when we ask you not to reach your pockets, there's a reason for that though, okay? For your safety as well as ours. You okay. understand that? Can you stop cops playing into me? Cosplay? Yeah, because I'm going to tell you right now, you've really upset me. you right now upset me. I was trying to talk. Every time I try to talk with you, you kept interrupting me. We're not trying to interrupt you. Okay? you we're, 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 we're just succeeded reason, it. We're here for one reason. No, was, let was, me, you asked me a question I was trying to answer, so now yes. you listen to me. No, see, see, So you, you, you not, violated not, my rights. We're not, I we're we're not, Listen, you gave us consent to search, okay? We're and I would do it. Again, we're trying to find a wanted guy for hunting. And I want to help you with that, but no, you asked me a question, now you can let me answer. Here's a note. See, you want to even want to help us. We're gonna help it. We're not gonna have a discussion right now, okay? Then why'd you ask me a question? We want about Mr. Jones. That's all we care about. You understand that? Obviously, you don't care about me. No, we, we, hey, we respect you. The fact that you even let us, let us search right now is. is Did you find fun. any anything to do with any human in this house? You understand? We have to. We Did have you to answer my that, question. Uh, any humans? It's, yes. There's all kinds of stuff about humans. I mean, okay. They're, they're just that, other than me. I don't know anybody other than you. I don't know who else lives here. Did you find any sign of another human being here? I have no do idea. Have, do you have any information about Mr. Jones? Okay, that's been asked and answered like five times, if not greater. 
I have, I am sitting there very confused. I, okay, I, did that. I have explained it to you several times, and you still continue the hard ass attitude. So you keep interrupting when I've asked you. Hard attitude, okay, okay. You understand? We, we have a. I told you I'm confused, and you continue to you, berate me. Not berate you. No, you. Oh, were you talking over me and not let me see what you just did it again? You know this individual. That's all we want to know. Oh my God! Asked and answered. I'm just saying. Asked and answered. Do you know him? Asked and answered. Yeah, you didn't ask, answer me. I'm just saying, I'm showing you a picture though. He showed me a picture, okay. very similar picture? Yeah. Picture? I do not, I on a different one. how is this related to my daughter and I'll call her. That's what we're trying to find. Next, we have a video from the channel, Justin JT's. He stopped this innocent man just for walking. Backpack man walking and stopped by a cop for random questions. When this man asked why you stopped me, the cop replied, I'm just trying to be nice. However, this man refuses to answer any questions. He clearly said, I do not talk to cops. But still, the cop continued the conversation. According to the cop, this man is mad at the world and trying to take it out on the cops. Watch the video and share your thoughts in the comments. I have added the original video in the description below. Repeat that again, sir. Your backpack is ripped. And you approached me and you stopped me in the, in the, nice while I was walking. And what did I say to you? That you don't talk to the cops. Yeah, I don't. So why are you talking? And then, and then you gave me an attitude. So why are you talking? You gave me an attitude. That's so why. Why are you talking? Because you said I was just trying to be nice. You gave you me an attitude, sir. Cops. Yeah. So walk. You stopped me in the road. You came I up didn't and approached stop me. You, at all. you said, "Hey, sir, your backpack." And then you said, "Uh oh, someone's caught." Hey. Someone's caught what? That's what you said. That never came out yes. of my mouth. Yes, it did. Never it did, once. sir. It did. But that doesn't matter. Don't. Next time you see me, do not approach me. I do not talk to cops. Okay. You can tell the whole department. I, you, this happened twice. That's why I'm mad. This happened twice. Yeah. What by do you? Who? Why are you doubting me? This happened twice. I said by who? You're doubting me about something that actually I happened. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have to answer you. It was a, a, another one of your officers. What's your What's your name and badge number? Name and badge number. My name is Bush. What, do you have a badge number? So. You told me to let everyone know that you don't want to be talked to so who was it so i can yeah. tell them not to talk to you yeah uh i don't know their name i didn't get their name okay i don't remember their what name i, I could pull up the video maybe i could see it on there sure. but uh what do they look tell like? your de tell your department this is this is all i want you, this is all i want from you tell your department if you see a kid with a backpack or you can describe me to them you can take a video of me if you see this kid and he's doing nothing do not help him he does not want your help he doesn't want to be doubted by you. He doesn't want your help. Okay. Yeah, you can stop messing with him. No, Say that. No, no, no. He's with not him. a joke. He, it's not funny. Uh, you stopped me while I was walking. Nobody stopped you me. stopped me. Yes, you did, Nobody sir. Sir, me. you did. You. Nobody why is your car right there? I was walking right here. Why is your car right here? You step. Why are you out of your car? Why are you? I'm not allowed to get out of my so, car. So, sir. Sir, I wasn't. I'm not allowed I, to sir. I'm not allowed is this to funny to you, sir? Sir, is this funny to you? It is funny to you. Next. This is probably the funniest audit of today. We have a video from the channel, Katie Kidman. Make sure you guys follow her. She does very good audit videos. This underconfident cop tried to harass this auditor. We got a call that you parked in front of this house. What's your name? It is my business to know what your name is. Trying to ask random questions without any crime. No law has been broken. The auditor, Katie Kidman, taught an excellent lesson to this cop. I must say, she has an amazing sense of humor. Her questions will bring a smile to your face. Watch how she educates this cop on our rights. Please support the Katie Kidman YouTube channel. I have added her channel link in the description below. Oh, okay, look, we have a call because you are parked in front of the, their house. And? Yeah. And you are you a rookie? You can't park out here, man. Are you a rookie? So we're gonna just, all you have to do Excuse is- Excuse me. What are you, a rookie? Is everything okay with you? Is fine. everything okay with you? Yeah. yeah fine. Really? Oh, wow. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like so, you don't, seems like you don't know the law. So you can't camp overnight. Is that what you're doing here? What are you doing? I am- You look like you're a f***ing clown in a clown outfit with I'm a gun and a badge. To, uh, call for service. And, like about 21 years old. What is it? Call for service for what? You, you need your parked, diaper changed? That you have been parked here in front of a. You need some wet wipes? Could you just move your vehicle from this area? Are you, uh, you got diarrhea? No, I know. 
What's, what's your problem? What's your name? I don't answer questions. What's your name? None of your business. What's your Number name? Number 88. 88 or 28? 28. 28. Yes, 28. None of your business what my name is. You can kick rocks. It's actually my business. No, it's not your business. Yeah. I don't care. What are you, a plumber? No. Well, I'm not a plumber. then kick rocks. And no, I'm just trying to figure out what's happening here. Oh, well, as you can see, nothing. Okay. Well, then. So, you, you might want to get a different job, really. I mean, who called you? These guys? Those guys? Somebody from up there? Maybe from up there? Who called you? Somebody called us, so we had really? to find out here, yes. Oh, really? Where do you usually live at? And the, and the mailman, too? It has to park, like, right in front of my car, like that. Like this. Well, maybe if you weren't blocking the mailbox, you would Maybe. <laughs> where, do you, where do you usually stay at? I don't answer questions, didn't I tell you that, Dorkwad? What are you, a Nazi? Are you okay? Are you a Nazi from Russia? Are you Chinese? Well, you have a good rest of your day. If you can, do me that favor and just move your vehicle. Can we pay you for this? Really? For you to come over here and tell me to move my vehicle, which I'm not going to do? Do me the favor and move your vehicle. I'm not doing you any favors, Jack. Okay. You have a good I told you to kick rocks like four times. You have a good rest of your day, okay? Don't tell me what to do. I'll have whatever kind of day I want. Okay. Well, and don't come back. Kind of go, go fight crime. You might be able to find some fentanyl, maybe some heroin. The next video is from the channel Captain America Audits, exercising his First Amendment right. Recording from the sidewalk, just have one thing to say, God bless homeless veterans. The police officials start questioning the auditor. Why are you doing it? Do you need money for this? Do you know what the state law is? Leave the property because you are asking for money. You are panhandling. I ask you to leave, otherwise, I will give you a criminal trespass, trying to harass this auditor. However, the auditor is well aware of the First Amendment. The auditor knows what he is doing. He is not breaking any law. He educated these police officials on freedom of speech and First Amendment rights. Watch the video and share your opinion in the comments below. Please subscribe Captain America Audit's YouTube channel. I have added the link in the description. Sidewalk is the sidewalk out there. Well, I'm going to have to disagree, sir. Oh, you can disagree, but you can't do it here. Well, I'm going to do this here. God put it in my heart to sit here and say, God bless Jeff Gray and the homeless veteran, sir, and I intend to do that. Not here. And if I don't, then I'll write you. You'll write me what? Well, when I ask you to leave, and you don't leave, it'll be criminal trespass. Criminal trespass. Are you going to arrest me? Criminal trespass, huh? Yep. Uh, I don't believe that's constitutional, so you do what you feel you need to do, and I'm going to sit right here and say, God bless Jeff Gray and homeless veterans until God tells me to do otherwise. So you do what you as need to do. That's all you're doing. But if you're out here asking for money, like you were over at Landon Building. Oh, did I ask for money at Landon Building? You want to go pull those security tapes? From what was reported to people over there? <laughs> Well, that's pretty funny because all I've done is sit around all day on video and say, God bless Jeff Gray and the homeless veterans. So they can report whatever they want over there, sir. Can you read? You're dismissed. Go back to your work. I'm busy. Well, one, you do not tell me what to do. Okay? Well, you don't tell me no, what. You don't come out here and tell me what to business. do. Well, this is my business, too. No. Yeah, I'm a taxpayer, a citizen of Kansas, and this is my property. When you come out here and tell me, well, oh, state property, go out on the sidewalk. Why don't you go out on the sidewalk? No, I'm telling you, you can't panhandle. You Have you seen me panhandle? There was reports. Okay. Do you see me panhandling? If you, you report from where? Did anybody come in here from this property and report me panhandling? If you ask anybody for a handout. I know what the law is. I don't need you to cop explain me. I do know what the law is. Do you know what the state law is? What? Does state law supersede the Constitution, sir? Did you take an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States? Because what am I doing right now? 
What law am I violating? I am advising you. I'm not saying you're breaking a law right now. You tried to tell me to go on the, off the property. If you are asking for handouts and money. If you do that. I don't you need you to cop explain me. I don't need to cop explain you. You need to go on about your business. Leave me alone. I'm and I can sit here too. This uh, this is a uh, you know what's what do they call that a, a voluntary conversation. Oh, you don't have to have a conversation with. That's me. right. I don't. I can exercise that other amendment called remain silent. You can't. I don't have to answer your questions. I'm not trying to have a conversation with you. I'm you came out here and tried to tell no, me no, no. that I'm doing all I'm this stuff and, pe and people over you. here reporting I'm doing I'm all this stuff and you come out here and harass and me. And I am telling you, if you are harassing or if you are asking for money. I ha All I have said, I'm, sir. You don't have to have a conversation. What happened to me? God bless Jeff Gray and the homeless veterans. From coming in. That's right. I haven't done anything to break the law. No. It's pretty funny how you come out here with your accusations. Oh, what well, was reported and you're out here panhandling. You don't know what the f is going on. You didn't even bother to ask me anything. Come out here and try to tell me to move the f off the property. Well, we were called because that is a yeah, building over there. I know, and I was on the sidewalk. And I went in and I explained that man exactly what I was doing. And it's all on video. Well, so we were leaving. Yeah, while I was leaving. Yeah. Did well, I violate officer, the law there? Well, an officer was on his way over there to ask you to move along. Well, they can ask all they want. It's public sidewalk, just like this is, and I'll sit there all day if I want. Well, this isn't public sidewalk, Bubba. Actually, it is. That out there is public. Oh, this stuff. isn't public? This isn't public. This is state. Really? It is. Who owns it? The state of Kansas. Wow. And his badge number and he refuses to tell me. Okay. And then he hides in this office asking me questions. So I raise my voice so he can Once hear me. Time. And he gets on the radio and tells you guys Never in an escalating way, oh, hurry up and get somebody over here. He's in there being all mad. Okay. It's like, yeah, when you stand there and do that and, and, and lie out your ass and escalate the situation because I'm trying to talk to you. And I asked him specifically, what is your boss's name? And his phone number. He says, no, 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 I'm gonna call about how disrespectful I am. And then he's disgusted by my behavior. I said, well, Mr. Dixon, and then who owns the state? And they said, well, the state of Kansas owns the state. I said, really? Explain to me again, who owns the state? This property that I'm on. The state of Kansas. All right. No, the taxpayers of the state of Kansas own this property. It's public property, not private. And how dare you tell me to go to the goddamn sidewalk for sitting out here Holding the sign. I'm gonna give you all the information you want, okay? But I need you to calm down so you don't yell at me because I'm, I'm, it, I'm trying. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more First Amendment videos.